Good morning. As you may have seen on our Instagram account, last night I was out chasing the cod. And obviously where I was only using like two holes and worm baits, I was lucky enough to hook this little beauty. A Dover sole of about one and a half pound, which for me was probably my better fish of yesterday. I had cod into about two. Anyway, I've uh, I got it there last night just to make sure and I bled it. But uh, we're just gonna do a quick video on it to show you how to fillet it. So here goes nothing. His palms are sweaty. <laughs> Choking. <laughs> right. We scored around the outside of the frill. Just follow down, you know, the frilly part of the fins, just to give yourself a mark of the way you go into in a minute. Same on the other side. Now, I, I'm not going to lie, I'm not an expert at filleting. But I mean, I've seen this done a few times when I've been out fishing for turbot and brill on the boats. And this is how they've always told me, like, so. So anyway, that's all my frill scored. Right, now one thing about the Dover sole, right, is it's really slippery, right? And you'll notice when I try and pull it forward, it slips all over the place. Try and pull it backwards, it's not going anywhere, you know what I mean? Anyway, so we take your knife, find the backbone, the centre of the fish, roughly. And then we cut down the middle. Tell you what, I'm having some some trouble here. Right, here we go. We're in. Right, so that's it. We're into the meat now. Now you don't fill it like a conventional fish. So you find the backbone there in the centre, you get a feel for it once the knife's gone down. And what you do is you work outwards towards the frill, mate. So you go in towards the bone and you follow the bone out towards the score that you made earlier on. So here it goes. Right, I'm just about getting it in there now. I'm just following that bone. It's a little bit difficult now with this knife, it's a little bit long. But if I'm careful, I should get four good fillets off this. Not massive, keep in mind the fish was only a pain and a half. Right, but now, now I'm getting somewhere. I can really feel the, the knife starting to follow the bones underneath. Oh, yeah. By the end of this, it should look like a piece of tracing paper. And here we go. Now we're, now we're getting somewhere. You can pick the bit of a fillet up if you want, so you can see what you're doing a little bit. Careful not to cut your finger like I just have. But there you have it. One boneless fillet of Dover sole. It might not have looked the tidiest. It's been a while since I filleted any flatfish. Like, I haven't exactly had the best year on them this season. Sorry about that, folks. I, uh, I just went straight through my knuckle on my index finger. You know, just to show you how sharp the knives are. <laughs> anyway, you've seen fillet number one. Now to do the other side in very much the same way we just did the first one. You go in at the backbone, keeping the knife flat to the bones. That's the good thing about using a slightly bendy knife. This one looks like it's gonna be better than the first one. And no, I'm not talking about the cut on my finger. Oh, 
right, eight, we push it in, out where I did the score on the frill, as you can see. Sorry I've been covering the fish from my end all the way through, but... And then, keeping the knife bent, we draw it backwards across the bone. That is absolutely professional, if I do say so myself. I did have a good go at this in Norway, halibut fishing. Obviously, it's a bit of a different ball game when you're dealing with a 40 pound halibut or something, but there's a lot more to grab hold of. Just pick the meat up, follow the bones, try and avoid the pool sack. Cut all that off at the end anyway. Then I go in behind the fin here and I follow it around the outside of the gills. I bled the fish yesterday when I caught it. I didn't fill it till the day because my brother wanted to see the fish all. And there we have it, fillet number two. Obviously, I'll tidy all this, all this off. Or the bits you don't want, but I mean, look at that. I think I might even show you how to skin it today, like a little special to your mind. So that's two fillets. Surprised, didn't you? How much you can get off one flat fish. Then we turn it over, there's a whole another two fillets to go yet. So we follow this line. So we go back in. A little bit of pressure just to put a bit of a bend in the knife and follow that bone. Try not to go through the bone. And then, last but not least, the same again. Cut the end there. Keeping the knife nice and bent. Follow that backbone again. Then we just try and tease it all away then. Gonna mind your sweet. <laughs> and like I said, it should look like a bit of tracing paper by the end. I mean, hi. I'm pretty happy with that considering. Not a lot of meat left on there at all. You... So that's the rubbish. And then one, two, three, four, four decent fillets of Dover sole. All right, now I'm gonna try and show you how to skin it. It's, uh, it's not gonna be easy. My hands are a little bit slippery. What I try to do is pin it down. Obviously a lot of people pin it down, literally with a, with a nail of some sort. Get your start, like so. Once you've got it, try not to move the knife, but draw the fish towards yourself, like so, just by giving it a bit of a wiggle. Once you've got a better hold of it, it becomes much easier. Some people use pliers to hold onto the skin. Ah, oh, look at that. And then off comes the skin. The skin on the Dover, like I said, when I was showing you about the slipperiness, against the green, it's quite rough. So that's why we take the skin off anyway. There's one skin. There's one clean fillet. Same again, get yourself a little start. 
once you've got it keep the knife edge facing down get a good grip like I said I learned this well I feel it in Halibut in Norway I'm, I'm no expert still but it's another hollow skin another nice white chunk of meat you know all the best there we have it four skin fillets of Dover sole sorry about the gory part where I cut my finger you know I'm a little bit out of practice but uh, yeah we'll keep plugging away and we're getting better as you're getting better all the best